perspective yesterday, Mr. Snyder. He kept us waiting right down to the wire. Life life on the wire. Yeah. That's life on the wire, Mr. Snyder. Same old Houston you see day in and day out. Very cool. I made level four. Well, Max, will you put that thing down for five minutes? All right, five minutes. Hey, see that peak? Mount McKinley, the highest point on the North American continent. It's great, Dad. Five minutes up yet? I don't believe you guys. Dad, just take it easy on the sales pitch here, okay? Deidre, we see each other so rarely. Let's just have a good time. Hope you guys brought your long johns. It's cold out here at night. Pretty cool. I think I'd bring you out to some dump in the middle of nowhere. Remember Mexico? I wasn't asking you. I asked your sister. Four o'clock, everybody. Hexman's on the tube. Max? What? Here, make yourself useful. I'm glad you made it up here. It's a beautiful place. Pretty remote, but it grows on you. Let me get this straight. No TV, no VCR, no dish. Dad, don't you think you're taking this mountain man stuff just a little too far? That's right, Max. No TV, no VCR, no satellite dish. And if I had it my way, no video games. This is seriously primitive. Look, I had to lay down a sizable damage deposit, so I'm asking you not to treat it just like home. We're trying not to trash it. It's been a great six months for me up here. I've really been able to focus on the book. No distractions? Hmm? No. This place is the greatest. No noise. No people. The causal relationship between weapons technology and battlefield strategies in medieval Europe. Wow. Go me crazy. I find it fascinating. You, um, just about finished? A couple more chapters. But, uh... I made time in my schedule for you guys. <laughs> you never know, you might hit the bestseller list with this one. You think? Good news, D. We got running water. <laughs> Sure. 
Looks like you're all moved in. Yep. Your mom told me you did real well on your SAT scores. Congratulations. Oh, well, I could have done better than that. Fourteen fifty. Get you into Stanford. That's what you want, right? Yeah, right. I guess so. You know about mom, right? Hmm. She's seeing somebody new. He's an engineer, Gordon. Hmm. Seeing him. Just seeing or? Actually, he is moving in with us. Oh. You nice guy? You like him? Yeah. Yeah, I guess he's pretty nice. Yeah. So it's okay with you then? Yeah. How about you? Yeah. I'm okay with it. Okay. <laughs> Brought you an extra blanket. You know why? Thanks. And I think. I did. Smells good. Hey, what you doing? What's it look like? Hey, you said, come on, hey, let me. Dad, it's fine. You know, I know where everything is. Dad, it's fine, really. Here, here, let me set the table. Hmm? It's, it's done. I'm fine. Max! Vita! Anyway, what I was thinking is, we can get us to 415 to Anchorage, we'll meet the clients there, and then, well, you know, and then, adios, amigos. Hey, Whitney. What? Come on, wake up, sleepyhead. Well, I'll tell you one thing, you're a better cook than your father. Mmm. Indeed, this is exceptional. Oh, I am so glad. today strap on some skis or snowshoes and go exploring what do you say sure where to no anywhere you want pick a direction it's all gorgeous you do realize i'm missing x-men max you're such a slug Ridge just behind the house. Spectacular view up there. Any wildlife? Well, lots of caribou in the valley below. You really seen them? <laughs> Once. We'll keep our fingers crossed. Hey, let me. 
Okay. Max, look at me! You're okay. You're okay. Yeah. You're okay, Max. Yeah, it's good. Good boy. kitchen drawer to the right of the stove candles too you'll get them for me found us a way out of here. We'll dig our way out from upstairs. First, I call for some help. Mayday. Mayday, anybody? 
Mayday. Mayday, all stations. This is Brian Kemp. There's been an avalanche. We're buried under it. The Mitchell cabin, five miles west of Highway 7 off County Road 218. Mayday, Mayday. to keep this landing clear. Dad, I can help. There used to be a broom up here somewhere. See if you can find it for me. Go ahead. Do you get me something to dig with? Anything you can find. Easy. Easy does it. You got it, Dee? You got those legs? Easy does it. We don't know what's broken. Breathe. Max, get something for under its head. Loosen his clothes, his shoes, his socks, get him off. Now. Good, good. Look, rub his hands. Get his hands. Get, this, get, get the circulation going. circulating. That's about all we can do until he comes around. Max. You think you'd be all right staying with him? All right, good. Anything changes, the slightest thing.
We're past the roof line. Are we through? We're getting there. It's breaking up. We'll get through if we keep working. It's looking good. Oh. That's great. There's a tree there, Dad. We'll get around that in a second. Yeah, right. Come on, D. Help me out here. Clear some of the snow away. Uh, we're making progress. Uh. Uh. What are you doing up here, Max? Look what I found. What is it? It's a purple heart. You guys were here, all right? Max, please, put this back where you found it. It's none of our business. And stay with him like I asked you to. Okay, I'm going. D, ah. get me some rope and something to haul the snow out of here. We'll get a better system going, okay? Okay. We gotta stay positive. Why? So we can pretend that we're not buried alive in this place. God! Oh God, look at us! Dee, I don't know if there's a foot of snow between us and the outside or a hundred feet. I don't know. But I gotta believe we're getting out of here, and you gotta believe it. I need you to pull together. I need you to be strong. For Max. And for me. You damaged plastic goodbye now, huh? <laughs> I thought that we could uh, tie a rope to the handle and we could haul the snow out that way. Good. Good. <laughs> this is gonna work. Okay, you're all right. 
Help me. Get more blankets. No. Max, Max, get some of my clothes. Go, go, go. Where am I? Where am I? It's okay. It's Where am okay. I? It's okay. Where am I? In my house, you're fine. You're lucky to be alive. Yeah? Here, give me those. Here, yeah, let me help you. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Where are my clothes? Your clothes are drying. I, uh, I had a pack. Did you... Did you find a pack? Sorry, no. All we found was you. You were wearing a parachute. Max, he needs to rest. No, that's okay. He's okay. You remember anything? I was, uh... I, I was flying to Denali, and, uh... Uh, the starboard engine went out, and uh, uh, the hydraulics went, so I just I bailed out. I, I bailed out. Anybody with you? No, no, thank God, no, no, no. They see if you can find them something to eat, anything. Oh. I got you some dry clothes. Thanks. Thanks, son. Thanks. Here, chocolate. Thank you. Well, I... I guess I owe you all a pretty big thank you. My, my name's Duncan, Duncan Snyder. Brian Kemp. Deidre. Max. Hi. What? What happened? We were hit by an avalanche. We found you buried right outside that window. Anybody know we're trapped down here? No. Radio's dead. We're digging our way out from upstairs. Oh, that's smart. That's, that's very smart. I tell you what, I, I, uh, I get these clothes on high and, and maybe I can help. I could sure use an extra pair of hands. Okay. Oh, 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 watch it. Oh, easy. Oh, 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 oh this leg, this leg's not right. Oh, it's probably just a torn ligament. You got something I could use to make a splint. I could, I could get something from it. <laughs> No, it's okay. You guys go ahead. <laughs> it's a hell of a lot more important getting us out of here than babysitting me. We better get going. Okay. Brian. Deirdre. Max. I really appreciate what you did. Thank you. It's fine. Glad we could help. We got a system going. I'm gonna need some shoring. Dee, go downstairs. See what you can find. Pieces of wood. Anything. Okay. All right. You got two jobs now, Slacker. Pick up the pace, huh? Yes, sir. Call you Deirdre or D? Um, either. It doesn't you know, really matter. Where are you from? Oh, I was born in Berkeley, but I live in Houston. Houston? No kidding. That's where Jane's from. That's my wife. Been her during basic training. She was going to school at Rice down there. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll help you with that. Yeah, thanks. Look that around there. I made a couple of holes there. Okay. Maybe you know the family. Maiden name was Hatcher. They lived at Bel Air Heights. You know that area, Alameda Street? No, I, I don't think so. Real nice people in Houston. Real nice. Oh! 
I'm sorry. No, it's okay. If I'm gonna be of any use, it's gotta support my whole weight. Just go ahead. Give it a good yank. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh! Oh! You know, I think I saw my plane go down. It hit the mountain. Now we started this whole mess. Yeah, we'll give this a try. Yeah, thanks. Oh, that's good. That's real good. Pete, get up here! You're going okay? Yeah. It'll take two hours working through this snow. I needed something to shore these walls, Dee. Where were you? She, she was helping me, Brian. You all right? I'm really sorry, Dad. It's my fault. You should take a break, huh? I can take over now. Yeah, Dad, you rest. It's good, Brian. It's real good. Yeah? Straight out through the roof, huh? Yeah. Makes a certain amount of sense. Stands to reason. Top of the house is closest to the surface. Yeah. Yeah, you are right about that. Uh. But you know, Brian, this roof is holding, uh, we don't know how many tons of snow. I mean, it could go at any moment. And, well, when it goes, I mean, so does the tunnel. Now, on the other hand, the structure on the leeward side of the house is sound. When you saw it yourself, Brian, it survived the impact. Now, if it were me, I dig right out that living room window where I came in. It's protected. I dig away and up. Now, I know you spent a lot of time and effort on this route, but uh, I gotta tell you, I just think it's a hell of a lot riskier for you and your family. Yeah, but we were making good progress. Well, I'm just expressing my opinion. <laughs> and there are many roads to Mecca. We're already past the roof here. We start downstairs. We've got a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, that is correct. Maybe Duncan's got a point. I don't want to take any chances with you kids. We'll dig downstairs. snow away a little faster, huh? Sometimes I gotta stop shoveling away from you guys. Yes, sir. You're the boss. You all right? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. I'll take over now. Why? I'm doing fine. You want to rest that leg? Yeah, yeah. You're probably right, thanks. I can dig. I haven't even had a turn. I can stand the snow from behind you. No, you're not to go in this tunnel. I can dig, Dad. I'm not useless. Why are you treating me like such a baby? Max, he's just concerned for you. That's his duty. Max is trying to take care of his family. Max, it's not safe. Just clear snow like you've been doing. Come on. I got a five-year-old boy in Juno. He's probably getting dressed to go to school right now, and his mother is probably worried sick not hearing from me. 
Go to school? I was supposed to graduate in a couple of months. That's great. Never made it past 10th grade. You got a boyfriend in Houston? Not really. <laughs> not really, but sort of? It's not serious. Oh. Okay. So what you guys doing up here on holiday? Actually, we came up for... for spring break. <laughs> Ooh, some break. <laughs> so, um, where's your mom? I guess she couldn't make it, huh? You know, you sure ask a lot of questions. Sorry. Actually, my parents don't live together anymore. Oh. Well, sometimes that's for the best. Yeah, sometimes. What you gonna do when you finish school? I don't know. I... I've been accepted to Stanford, English literature. That's great. Actually, I, I was thinking about taking the year off. Just travel, you know. I really want to see Central America, and I was thinking about going to Rio for that, for the Sun Festival. <laughs> now that would be great. <laughs> I haven't told my parents. How come? My mom would freak <laughs> she uh, she doesn't let me go anywhere alone i don't know what my dad would say well you're, you're a young woman now and you're a free woman and you just gotta do what you gotta do right yeah yeah right can i call you d yeah sure d <laughs> <laughs> for me to get back to work. Just give Max a minute. He wants to help. Oh, okay. You know, Brian, you got great kids. I mean, uh, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah. That's what it's all about. Hey, I found something! What is it, Max? What did you find? It's a compass, a good one. Yes, good work. What's so important about a compass? Hands on the griddle, Brian. You know, like the crumbs. Follow my stuff all the way home. Hey, I got something else. What is it? What is it, Max? Find in there, Max. Please. Let him be. Sorry. Okay. You're okay. You'll be fine. I saw a gun. Hey! Looks like we're on the right track. I don't like firearms around my kids. Oh, it's, it's part of my survival kit. Man needs a gun in the bush. We're not in the bush. 
Actually, it does make me a little nervous, too. No firearms in this house. I'm sorry, Brian. I didn't mean to scare the kids. Put it away. This is where it goes. And this is where it stays. Back to work. Oh, well, we're gonna have to shore this up. Could come down again. You okay? Max, I don't want you digging in that tunnel again. Dad, everybody's gotta do it. No. You understand me? Okay, Dad. That? I found it in your pants. Sorry, I took it. That's okay. You just hang on to it for me. Where'd you get it? I took a bullet in Somalia. Delta Force thing. Wow. You want to do me a favor? Just show me where you found my gun and compass. Uh, my father told me not to go in there. Well, he's absolutely right. But I'm not asking you to dig here. I just want you to show me where you found my stuff. I, I can't. You know, Max... If I listened to everything my commanding officer said, I would never have been awarded this Purple Heart. I want you to have it. Really? For luck. Cool. Duncan tell you to go in there. Duncan! Uh, Duncan! Uh, Duncan, you stay the hell away from my boy. You hear me? What are you doing? You're taking down. What the hell are you doing? I'm 
knock it off, man. I don't want to hurt you, sir. Point that thing at me. It's dangerous. Now put it down. Please. Please. Okay. Okay, we're coming out. Brian? Come on. Yeah. Let's go. could get hurt with that thing. Now, we don't want that to happen now, do we? Huh? Do we? Now, come on. Just give me the gun. No, I can't. Oh, please. Hey. God. The bastard. The bastard was digging down. Clear the snow away like you did before. Come on, you guys, let me go! Please! No, oh, please. Don't leave me here to die. Don't pay any attention to him. We're not gonna let him die. We're gonna dig our way out of here. Maybe you don't get this, but you need me. Don't you? Huh? I think you do. You're nothing against your kids up there, but you're gonna need my muscle to get out of here! Come on, Brian, in a minute! You need me to help dig! No! We're doing great! I think you're maybe four or five feet an hour. Dad, come on. Let me take over. You're exhausted. I'm okay. Look, just get me some water, okay? Sure. Thanks. Dee, do you look at me? Dee, you know me. You think I deserve this? Please, just, just do me a favor, will you? Just loosen the ropes a little bit. I got no feelings in my hands. Please, please. Well, it was worth a shot anyway, huh? Dee? Really sorry. Guess I just got a temper, huh? How'd you know your dad? You hurt me really bad, you know. Still, you're right. I should have never let it get to me. I guess I really blew it, huh? D. D. D, could I have a little of that, please? I'm so thirsty. Please, please. Thank you, Mary. 
We're gonna do. We're gonna dig in my tunnel as we agreed. We're almost through. We hit the surface. Great. But first, we gotta get my stuff. What's in there you want so badly? A prize, Brian. A prize. <laughs> we better get started. Come on. We're a family now. Let's work as a team. Come on, go. Are you all right? Please don't make him dig. He's hurt. I'm fine. Dad, you okay? Yeah, I'm doing all right. Just wants his things, that's all. And he'll let us go. Yeah. You're mad at me, aren't you? You can't understand it. It's just that your dad's got a bad temper, that's all. Why are you doing this to us? And what is it that you want so bad? See, you are mad at me. Why are you taking this thing so personally? It's got nothing to do with you and me. Dean, you're a good person. Like me. And you're sensitive. Like me. I mean... I got caught up in a little lie back there. I mean, I don't have a wife and kids. <laughs> I just told you that because... because I wanted you to like me. It's okay. It's okay. I never hurt you. No, never. I just want you to like me. Get your hands off my daughter. We were just talking. Get away from her. Nothing happened here, Brian. Tell him, Dee. Tell him nothing happened. It's okay, Dad. Never. Again. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. You're the boss. Go on, 
big. We need to find a way to distract him. Take it easy, Dad. Stupid. What's the matter? I thought we were pals. We're not pals. I hate your guts. Max, I'm sorry about Dad. He's just got to learn to show some respect, right? This is not my medal. It belonged to my dad. He lost half his face in Korea for this medal. But he knew respect. He knew discipline. He knew commitment. You hit first! And ask questions later. Yeah, that's my dad, Max. A real hero. Brian, I don't hear anything. Hang on. Brian? We found something. What? What? What would what, you find? I'm... I, 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 I can't tell. It looks like a camera. Camera. Okay. Just get it down here. I'm trying to get it. It's, it's stuck. Wedged under a rock. Just get out of there. Come on. Just get out of there right now. Come on. Come on. I can't shift it. I I can't seem to shift it with this shoulder of mine. Get out of there. Come on. I can't take this shoulder. I tried. It shouldn't take much longer. Get your brother and get some warm clothes. Sweaters, boots, coats. Go ahead.
Bad girl. Everybody, come on back down to the Duncan. Nice and easy. Move it! You better get out of here by yourself. I can't. Yes, you can. All right, I'm going to count to three. Don't listen to him. One. Listen to me. Go down the mountain and get help. Two. We're coming. All right, we got a lot of work to do. Start all over. Come back. Go. We'll get out of here, I promise. Don't make promises to me! You can't do it anymore, Dad! You just can't!
funny on the way up I was thinking about at Kathy's wedding how you weren't supposed to come and there was all this big to do because you and mom were split up and you weren't supposed to be seen together in the same place at the same time I remember thinking hey that is so great when you showed up there with all those balloons and everyone was so up to height But mom, she thought it was really funny. <laughs> and you know, I watched you guys dancing. Just like you were back together again. And everything was normal. And then you just got up and you left early. I mean, it just it looked so right. Why couldn't you guys have worked it out? Excuse for your, your mom and I not working harder. Excuse for leaving your kids. For all this time lost. Not being there while you while you're growing up. There's no excuse. Never will be. And there's nothing I can do to change what happened. get through this stuff. It can't be far from the surface. We know where we have to go. Give me a hand, V.
You sure you're up to this? No. You can't make it with that shoulder. Okay, one step at a time. You test each foothold with your weight before you go on. Okay? Yeah. When you get to the top, just tie it up. Did I tell you we get out? Yeah. Yeah, you did. Okay. Don't look down here. Just keep looking up. Keep going. This look familiar. Do you remember a landmark? A road? A, a rock face? Anything? It was a cabin. My father rented it for the season. It's up here somewhere. I know it is. I'll recognize it. In this cabin, it's buried 30 feet under the snow. It's a big mountain, son. Come on, let me do this. No, it's okay. I'm going up. Talks no sense into that. He won't tell me where my diamonds are. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Dee, would you do me a favor? Would you bring me some chocolates? Do what he says. You know, Brian, she is a great kid. I like her a lot. You know, Brian, Dee was telling me about a dream. Did you know that she wants to travel? She doesn't want to be cooped up in some university like her old man. Your daughter has such a feeling for life. 
I hope you appreciate that, Brian. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Good. Now let her go. Sure. I'm going to take you back down the mountain. We'll get some help. You'll get in now. sure you don't go over the same spot twice, huh? Just remember that. Oh. Look at this. Teardrop. One and a half carrots. Oh, must be worth a lot. You have no idea. Here. Go on, Dee. Take one. For yourself. For me. That's a marquise. Duncan, can I, can I get something to put underneath my dad's head because he looks like he's a little... Uh, yeah, he does. Go ahead. Two more. Beauties. Long way ahead of you now. Oh, my God. 
Marty. found us. Yeah. 